Hey, how's it going today? Thank you for coming by once again. I appreciate that. Or if this is your first time, thank you. Today we're going to be talking about the best way, not the best way, but how to make good music. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the question is how to make good music. As an upcoming independent music artist, good music could be defined in many ways, at least as I feel. Um, good music, I think, could be music that best describes or shows your emotion or best categorizes you as the music artist. It's quality, it sounds good, rhythms work, the vocals work, the lyrics work, and it tells a story. Music that tells a story is what people like to hear. Depending on where you live in the United States or Canada, wherever it is, West Coast and East Coast have totally different type of feel. Um, over in the West Coast, you have a lot of more pop culture. Uh, you have, uh, you're listening to more pop music, a little bit more softer um, music, R&B, more, um, and things like that. When you move over to the East Coast, you have Dirty South. You have a lot of the East Coast music, hip hop, rap, um, a little bit of R&B as well. Not as much pop. So that's where the difference comes. It also affects that. But with the online market, using all, uh, Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, and all these things, you could create whatever type of music you want and reach whichever individual is interested in that type of music, depending on your marketing scheme. Now, how to make good music when it relates to the artist, as I said before, it has to be something that you love to do. It has to sound good. It has to feel good for you. And also it has to be able to be relatable to your audience or to your fan base. If your fan base can't relate to it, then the good music is only for you technically and maybe you won't make as much money. But not saying to make music for your fans, but find fans who actually like your type of music. And that's where you have to learn how to use the online markets, thing like that. And you could check out a lot of my videos and I talk about that and show you how to do that. So good music. Uh, especially in 2016, have to be good quality. They have to sound good. They have to fully portray the, uh, the like the category of the artist, whether it's R&B, hip hop, pop, whatever it is. Um, it has to tell a story, allow your listeners to hear your song and feel connected to it. Um, that's good music. Now, I'm not going to bash other music genres because. There's fans for each genre of music, there's artists for each genre of music. And how you promote that or how you how you send off your music all depends on you. And there's, there's people who love different types of music. It's amazing. Me being a producer, I have to make different types of instrumentals for different type of artists. Now they're fans of, ideally, they're fans of different types of music. They're in different genres, they like different things. I may make an instrumental that sounds, you know, to me may sound garbage, but to the artist, it sounds amazing. It's that, that's exactly what they were looking for. It's different. It calls to them in a certain way. And the, the beat itself tells a story. Same way how with your music, it has to tell a story. It has to sound good, high quality. And if you put all those things in your little recipe of, <laughs> of your music career, it's going to help you out and you're going to see progress. Okay, I hope all those tips helped you out. If it has, please leave a comment below. And if it hasn't, leave a comment on why it hasn't helped and I'll be sure to respond. Uh, be sure to check out um, my website. If you're looking for instrumentals for your next project, uh, for a podcast, for a music video, for your next track, or whatever it may be, you can check it out at legendarybeatsonline.com. Also, subscribe to this page because when you subscribe, you'll be the first to know about new videos that I put out. I put out one video like this every week, or at least I try to. Don't hold me you know, to it if I can't. Sometimes I, I, have, I, I get a little busy. Um, and also, be sure to subscribe and also hit that like button if this video was something that you loved and it helped you out. All right, so I'm Legendary Beats. And as always, remember to be you, be legendary. I'm out. Peace.